Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Brian back at Bidwell Canyon Farm. How are you all doing this evening? I hope very well. We're in the hoop house where we have put the tomato plants to rest for the year. It's a sad time, but also kind of a joyous time because we don't have to pick all the little cherry tomatoes anymore, harvest all the tomatoes in the hot hoop house. In this middle row, we've actually cut all the big heirloom tomatoes out and left this soil completely intact. The roots remained under the surface and we seeded two rows on either side of those stalks with salad mix, spinach, tatsoi, and things that do really well during the winter months. We're hoping that we did it early enough to where those can germinate and have enough daylight hours to kind of get established before the winter sets in. Now one huge time-saving tool we use on the farm is the Jang P1 Clean Seeder and I wanted to give you a little overview of this tool. Maybe it would help you on your farm and uh, here it is. It's the Jang Seeder. Check it out. So this seeder is a really great tool for saving time and it really saves my back personally and a lot of uh, back-breaking work seeding a row. It's very quick it consists of a few different moving parts and it's highly adjustable and you can fine tune it to basically whatever situation you have. Uh, it consists of a drive wheel up front that controls a sprocket and gear combination. So it's connected to a sprocket and it drives this chain which turns the wheel inside of the seed hopper and you can get different wheels with the unit with different sizes of dimples and different patterns, quantities, things like that. The hopper itself comes out. It has a little spout here where the seeds will drop out. The gear turns this particular wheel. So that gear turns this at different rates of speed and that corresponds to different spacings on your seeds. We're just gonna adjust the brush for these seeds that we're using, which are spinach. high mowing giant winter spinach seeds. Okay, so that's the size we're dealing with. And so we will test, we'll lower the brush so there's this little thumb screw here. And this brush slides up and down and it spaces uh, according to your seed height and the seeds will drop into these little cavities in the wheel and then the brush will exclude most of them except for those that drop into that slot and we'll give it a tighten up give it the old tighten up there and we can just test it by pouring some seeds into the hopper make sure you get your hand out of it Whoa. So we're getting pretty good, almost 100%, and we want the closest spacing possible on the jing. And on the side here of this shroud, it gives you the spacing chart and number of holes in the seed. It was a 24 hole that we're using, X24, right? Mm -hmm. And we want it close as possible, so we want it point f or a half inch spacing so we need a rear gear at the nine number nine gear in the rear and a number 14 in the front we're checking the which gears we have so we have a 14 in the front and a nine in the rear so we're all set up if you needed to get a different gear, they're stored on the back of the roller up back here. Okay, so we're all set to seed the row with spinach. Huh. So you kind of line up your seeder. Can I have the handle on this way? No. That's you adjust your handle however you want. So kind of we're, think about we're going to do two rows here. So we're going to stay on the outer edge for this first one. Okay. What happens in here as she's going along, it'll be dropping those seeds onto the wheel. 
and they'll drop down into the furrow that's being cut and then this little foot this little foot here will cover it and the wheel behind will kind of tamp it in it looks like we're getting a pretty good even seating There's this little push button. Your hopper will oh, come out. That was in the bag. There's still some in that trailer. Let's do this. Here, can I spin it? Mm -hmm. Is this it? Can I spin it? It has a foamy type of wheel on the front and the back. And the front has these fins to help it kind of track. Do we need a different Handlebar extension up and down for taller or shorter users. And then depending on which side of your row, you can slide the handlebar left or right, center, etc. So we're changing to a 12. So there's one flat side on the wheel, so I gotta get that in. Where's the pin? You got it. Dang it. There you go. Push hard, there you go. Is it in? Yeah. yeah. Now, now while we're screw. here, hold on. These are really tiny seeds, so I'm gonna yeah. move that brush down. And put it all the way down. What are we seeding next? We're going to do some Mizuna and some Tatsui. Okay. There you go. And then, now and then push, push back. back. There you go. Let's turn it around the right direction. Where's the seats? Oh yeah, those are tiny. It's like grains of sand. Okay, so that Tatsoi Mizuna is dropping in. Pull it back a little if you get jammed. There you go. Great. Nice. High five. And now we're going to plant Tatsoi. And there she goes. And I think this is my footprint right there, right down the row, because I wasn't paying attention to what the heck I was doing.
It's all over your head, dude. <laughs> Subscribe.